Okay, it's recording now, so I don't know what I did, but let me add a call in here. Yeah, add him so hard. Yo, yo, yo! Alright, well, it's it, it says it's recording, so let's jump in. Hopefully this works. Uh, I'm not going to risk it <laughs> trying to call you guys back, but it says it's recording, so fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, let's jump into Ghostbusters first. I want to get that one knocked out. Ghostbusters. All right, I'm going to count you guys in. Three, two, <clears throat> good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, tell your friends about us. Tell us. Uh, tell them to follow us here on SoundCloud, The Real Pineapple 775, and like us on Facebook at The Real Pineapple. I'm here with two of the most beautiful men on the Internet. I'm here with Colin. Colin, how you doing, sir? I'm doing good. <laughs> and I'm here with the pride of Idaho, Scott. Scott, how you doing, you stud? So good. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that, friend. Uh, so, uh, this is... Uh, I, I, oh, I'm so excited for this review. So, um, Ghostbusters, the the remake here. This is going to be one of my favorite reviews of the year. I've been looking so forward to this review. Not just because of what I think about it, but because of what you two think about it. But, um... I feel like I'm always the one I, I talk a lot. So, Scott, why don't you kind of walk us through the plot of this movie? So, you've got, like, these chicks, right? And they're just like, man, we hate ghosts. And <laughs> they're just, they just take down the all the ghosts. So, that's pretty much the whole movie. That's, I didn't, So, was I didn't... Was this, was this supposed to be a... Um, an extension of the no, no, trilogy, no. or the other the other movies. No, sir. Like full remake. No. Like, that, like a universe where the other Ghostbusters never happened. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So um, the two main characters, um, played by Melissa McCarthy and Kristen Wiig, um, end up together. I mean, it's. It's not like a simple, necessarily sim- necessarily simple storyline, but um, Melissa McCarthy and Kristen Wiig are previous uh, colleagues, and they're kind of like ghost hunters, essentially, that get laughed at. And uh, so they ended up getting back, back together, and along, along with uh, Kate McKinnon and Leslie Jones, and they just... I, I mean, it's, they don't get quite get together in that way. They, a few of them kind of fall fall together, but uh, for the most part, that's kind of how it begins. And you've got a you know a lot of a lot of stuff reminiscent of the first few. Well, how many were there? Two, two or three? Two, two, yeah, just two. Because I only saw I've only seen the first one. Have you guys seen all all, all two? Yeah, the first one, the first one's like with the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, and then the second ones where they're right. just like spraying goo everywhere, and they like ride in the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, the sec. So this is what I'll say: the second one, I I watched like a year ago, and I remember thinking, man, I remember I didn't like this as a kid. I think I might even like it less now. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the second one. Yeah, I mean, the, the second one's not. The first one's a classic, and then the second one's kind of like they were just squeezing some more money out of the franchise. Yeah, which is honestly what I think this is right here. So, oh, 100%. <laughs> so he, here's the thing. There was no reason to remake Ghostbusters. There really wasn't. It was one of those, like like how we, uh, like they're doing the Ben-Hur remake that comes out next year, and I was like, why? They are doing the, they did that Point Break remake, why? They did that Robocop remake, why? Like, they just keep doing these remakes that don't need to be made whatsoever, and... So those are, and those are the terrible remakes. But it, it is, it's like an epidemic, like, there's so many remakes. Some of them are actually kind of good. Yeah. Like, Star Trek is pretty good. Yes, it is. Like, that was a good remake, and that and that was kind of like... I mean, it, it, like, Star Trek is like, it's like a prequel. Like, we're going to show them when they're all young and first meeting. And then, like, you have, like, Jurassic World, where it's, like, later on with different characters in the same universe. 
But this one's like this one's like a full genuine remake, like the ones you talked about, like Robocop and Ro- Robocop and Point <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about the uh, the Whoa. video I watched on uh, on the internet the other day. Oh, okay, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> Robocop. <and, laughs> he's ready to unload. But <laughs> <laughs> well, that was qu- that was quick. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. That's right, <laughs> but <laughs> but so. So it's funny. I was talking to one of my friends about it, and because they just bought Deadpool, which is amazing. And Deadpool has one of the best can't like uh, ad campaigns of any movie I think I may have ever seen. The, the the advertising and the marketing was brilliant. This is the opposite end of the spectrum. Everything I saw from this, from as far as marketing, just blew my mind at how bad it made this movie look. It made this movie look like shit the whole time and I think that's part of the reason outside of you know sexist assholes <laughs> why people were just like this looks horrendous yeah the internet but, exploded on this thing it really did and rightfully so honestly because it's just it, and, and, it, and we I mean it, we did too you know the 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 uh, the trailers for sure when they came out that was like oh god what are we going to be getting ourselves into yeah and, and, and not to give away my review, I will say it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like yeah. that's, but um, that, but that's with setting the bar so incredibly low. <laughs> like, right? Is that not true? Like, no, the bar was set so low. Like, everyone's expectations were like, this is going to suck. Well, the thing is, and me and Scott talked about this um, when we did our trailer review for the mechanic uh, refueled or whatever it's called. Us trains. Porter refueled God. See, all the Jason Statham movies are the same. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the mechanic redemption. That's the dumbass title for it. But um, we were talking about the summer's movie season has not been super awesome. I mean, we got what? We got Finding Dory. We got uh, Civil War. Mm-hmm. Um, is there anything else we like this summer? I mean, it wasn't. I mean, it hasn't really been a good summer for film this year. And, and I think the best thing that could have happened to this movie, and I truly mean this, is uh, Independence Day. Because, man, after Independence Day, I was just so just bummed out. And it just broke me. I was like, you know what? Cool. It's like, if, if, as long as it's not as bad as this, I won't be pissed off. And, yeah. and, and, the, and the Batman v Superman oh, is pretty God. disappointing, obviously. Yeah. yeah. So, I, you know, so my gripes with this movie, I... I think are pretty legitimate so i mean let's just kind of jump in here so uh kristen wig plays a girl named erin gilbert who um who basically is a uh, who's a teacher at uh what they say columbia i think is what they said i think some, pre- some prestigious school yeah yeah and uh, so princeton, i think was it princeton I, well, no, princeton was like where she did some other thing like they made a joke where he's just like yeah we need you to really have you know like a better you know uh reference than princeton and she's like oh better than princeton Oh yeah, that's right. So, um, but yeah, she's she's running out of college, and basically she's about to get tenure, and that's threatened when her old friend uh, Abby, played by Melissa McCarthy, she puts this book back into print and is put in like ebooks and all that, and books on tape. Uh, this book that they wrote about ghosts together years ago, and so basically, uh, her uh, the dean finds out about it, fires her, and then pretty much out of necessity. Uh, Aaron starts hanging out with Abby again, uh, and Abby's new friend, uh, uh, Jillian, played by the lovely Kate McKinnon. I love me some Kate McKinnon. And basically, they team all team up to start studying the paranormal, and then uh, and then they're joined by Mammy, uh, Leslie Jones. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, that was unnecessary. But, <laughs> but <they're> Mammy. Joined... <laughs> yeah, that, was, that, was, that was so mean. But um, they're joined by Leslie Jones, uh, Jones's Patty. And they all team up to uh, basically become a new team of Ghostbusters and save the city from a, uh, raising, a rising paranormal threat. Yeah. Um, Orchestrated by this dude, uh, oh. the Rowan North guy. Okay. So I'm really happy you brought that up because that was one of a few, several problems I had this movie. The villain in here was th- – there was a chance to do something with him because – Basically, his reasoning for bringing the apocalypse is, no one liked me when I was younger, and everyone picked <clears> on me, so I'm going to take it down the world, meh, meh, meh. And yeah. so... And in, I, and in the original, it's like it's like a it's like a full on demon who's like you know found its way um, into possessing like Sigourney Weaver. 
Yeah. Which it, it, like nothing's orchestrated by a human. It's all like it's like it comes from straight from a demonic um, source, which you know is, I think, a better plot. Yeah. So, so the thing about the villain in this is that there could have been something interesting here as far as like his reasoning because you find out about Kristen Wiig's character and why she gets this nickname that she has. And to be totally honest, when they kind of went to that backstory, I was like, wow, that actually would would fuck you up <laughs> quite a bit if that were to happen. And I actually felt bad for her. And my thought was, oh, cool, they introduced this element because they're going to tie it back to the villain. And they totally just didn't even bring it up like as a way to connect it. And that was just one of those opportunities that could have given this narrative uh, more weight. Uh, if, if that makes sense. So, what did you think of Chris Hemsworth playing the like, like, ev- like everything's a complete like role reversal. Like, like all the gender roles are completely switched from the first movie, which is fine. So, like the the dumb receptionist now, which was you know the 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 girl in the first one who makes a cameo in this one. All the dudes make a cameo, which is kind of cool. Um, but actually, it's not that cool because they don't do shit. They just like show up and like. <laughs> Like, like, uh, um, Bill Murray doesn't even, like, say anything funny. He's just, like, there. Um, but, uh, yeah, what did you think of Chris Hemsworth? Uh, I actually thought, so, I gotta tell you, this movie was dragging for me. Like, the first half hour, I was like, oh, man, you guys need to pick it up. Because I wasn't laughing, I wasn't chuckling, I was sitting there, like, these jokes are not landing, this is really awkward, I'm getting kind of sad. And then Chris Hemsworth shows up, uh... And he brings the thunder, uh, um, and he, <laughs> he really uh, drops the hammer. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he really did inject this movie with some much needed in- energy. And then they meet Leslie Jones, and you know, I know I called her a mammy earlier, but I gotta admit, I thought they were gonna just make her like typical stereotypical black woman, and they scaled back on that so much more than I <laughs> thought they were going to. I was pleasantly surprised by that. Um, Scott, what did, what'd you think, man? Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, I really like, uh, one of the main characters in this, Kristen, w- Kristen Wiig, but I am not a huge fan of Melissa McCarthy. So going into it, I was really wary of the kind of comedy that she was going to bring to this. And, uh, it gets showed through a little bit and she was definitely not my favorite character, but it was, that was kind of my biggest thought was that it just was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, not to say it was an amazing movie, but, like, I I would say that I enjoyed myself. I think that um, <laughs> Chris Hemsworth, was, that was kind of, like, over-the-top, kind of just... At certain points, it wasn't... It was too, almost too much, but then as it kind of played out throughout the movie, it got funnier and funnier to me. But... um yeah, I, I'm a huge fan of Kristen Wiig. I feel like she is underrated for non-comedic roles. I feel like she can switch pretty quickly and still kind of, like, keep control of the scene, I guess you can say. But I think they actually had a good mix. That's what like, one of my biggest worries was the the actresses that they selected that they were going to work well together. And I actually think that they did. I I agree with you, Hunter. I don't. I think that they used Patty in like the way that she should have been, and she was a nice comic relief to everything, even though it was kind of like very over the top. Um, but yeah, I don't. I I was pleasantly surprised with the cast. All right, Colin, your thoughts, man. Yeah. Um, just yeah, going on the cast. I agree with you, Scott. Um, I'm a big Kristen Wiig fan, and I'm also not a big Melissa McCarthy fan. <laughs> me, me neither. <laughs> yeah, so the movie starts out, and, I mean, it's really highlighting Kristen Wiig. Like, you know, this is the centerpiece. This is the main character. You know, like, the, the first ten minutes is really centered around her, um, you know, after the initial scene with, with the, the haunting of the house and all that, which I thought they actually did a pretty good job of. Like, you know, it was kind of creepy and, and fun. Um, starts I off like I thought that the movie actually started out on a good note. Like I was like, oh, yeah, I'm kind of into like this. That. I was like, this is kind of good. Um, you know, it's kind of it actually did a good job of being creepy and whatever. Um, but and then it was it was Kristen Wiig and like I got a couple like laughs out of Kristen Wiig. And then like right when it gets into like 
her going back and meeting Melissa McCarthy. I mean, it was like bomb after bomb. Yes, of it was. Like, it was yeah. like so many jokes. Like, and even like, so like I was going back and forth with liking and not liking Kate McKinnon. <laughs> because yes, like, too. yeah, <laughs> like there was like, the, like one of her first jokes, she just like throws out like a queef joke. Yeah, that was <laughs> like, bad. <laughs> and, and like, I mean, like there was a decent sized theater and I mean, it was like crickets. <laughs> and yeah. I was like, oh man! I mean, I face palmed big time. I was like, wow, this is awkward. That and there, whole, there was a yeah, yeah, no, but yeah, that whole scene was just bad. Yeah, um, yeah you're right. Yeah, that first initial scene where they all meet, where they all meet up. Uh, I was in a theater with. I saw this at about. I saw this at uh, like 4:40, and that theater it had like 50 people in it, and nothing. Yeah, that whole scene, no one was <laughs> laughing. I was like, oh boy, that like that. Di- uh, like Brian on Family Guy when Peter's like, "Who's the boss?" Isn't the food or whatever he says? And he's like swinging a miss. So it was like it was yeah. that. It was that over and over that whole scene. And <sighs> I was I wasn't really sure who Kate McKinnon was kind of supposed to be. I feel like I couldn't understand like if she was like all over the place. Like I couldn't. I was with you, Colin. I I couldn't tell at first. I didn't really like her, and then I kind of like, came around towards the end, but she was, like, kind of had a, like, a German accent, but then I feel like it changed, and I was like, oh, no, she's just kind of really weird. Like, I couldn't really follow her sometimes. Yeah, and I, and, and yeah, so, like, that first scene, like, really set, like, it was, like, a bad first impression that, like, it took a while to, like, break away from, <laughs> and, like, I, I, I did I did end up kind of liking her, but what I was going to say is, like, you know, like it started out, and it was, like, Kristen Wiig is, the you know, the center of this movie. And I'm like, I can get behind that. I like Kristen Wiig movies. Like, Kristen Wiig movies are, like, I typically like them. Yeah. But then it kind of turned into a Melissa McCarthy movie where she became all this. She was kind of, like, the leader. And it was, like, the two of them were vying. Like, they even kind of, like, made jokes about it. Yeah, they did. So, like, right. They were like, oh, they're like, 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 all right, let's go. And they said at the same time, like, oh, should I say it? You say it? Like, they couldn't decide whose movie it was. It was like yeah. they were sharing the spotlight. And, like, and I was like at the end, it was interesting, like, right when the movie ends and it goes to the credits, like, first billing was Melissa McCarthy. So Colin, I love you so much for bringing that up. Yeah. I, I'm so happy you mentioned that. So, it, right, it, like, like it, they even kind of, like, state it, like, after the fact. They're like, yeah, this is kind of a Melissa McCarthy movie. Like, Kristen Wiig kind of started it out, but, like, she mm-hmm. takes over. And I'm like... That just bugged me because I I don't want she should she, Kristen Wiig's better she should be right. the leading you, and you could tell that she uh, I feel like even in you could feel the movie kind of shift when she when Melissa McCarthy was like introduced it yeah was like, okay now it's my movie like I'm gonna be loud and make part jokes and things like that and I was like uh, I kind of want to go back to the Kristen Wiig side yeah of it. absolutely and and it was like I was kind of comparing it to the original Ghostbusters and like in the original Ghostbusters that has a similar scene at the start where it's the spooky ghost in the library. And then it immediately goes right after the, they you know play the intro songs, title screen Ghostbusters. It goes directly into Bill Murray. So I was like, okay, so like Kristen Wiig's kind of the Bill Murray character and mm-hmm. Bill Murray's kind of like witty and funny and, 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 you know, like, uh, and so is Kristen Wiig. So I was like, I see the parallels there. And then like, like you said, that was a good way to put it. Like there was just like a the movie just shifted like in tone or or mood, and all of a sudden it's this Melissa McCarthy movie, and I was like, oh god, here we go. Like I don't, yep. don't want to watch this. <laughs> yeah, I so I think for Kate McKinnon, uh, I think for her for her character Jillian. Um, Look, I'm a pretty big Ghostbusters nerd. I had the Ecto One as a kid. I always used to drink the the high C orange, like the slime, like the slime flavor, which was delicious. Um, I watched the cartoons, the real Ghostbusters. I mean, just to even further date myself, um, I really have always been a huge Ghostbusters fan. It's one of those movies from my childhood that holds up still. I mean, I watched it. I actually went and saw it in theaters last year when it was out, and I was like, oh my god, I still love this. And it was great to see the original on the big screen. Um, the thing about this movie is that for every step forward it takes, it takes a step or two back. Like when the movie starts building momentum, um, I gotta say, uh, Paul uh, Paul Feig, who is is definitely hit or miss for me. I thought Bridesmaids was 
okay. I thought the heat was just okay. I thought Spy was brilliant. And with this movie, the editing on this, holy shit, it is some of the worst editing I've seen in a blockbuster in so long. The way it goes so clumsily from scene to scene. This movie feels really just choppy at points. It doesn't feel to be like a like a natural flow between scenes and it really became very noticeable as it went towards the third act and it just kind of stumbles along and i i was actually getting pretty irritated with it to be totally honest because it's like you have editors i know you should be able to edit this better and it just never came across like that Uh, i would agree with you to an extent i think that one of the parts that i really liked in the movie was there was a action sequence with Kate McKinnon um, towards the end when they're fighting off a bunch of ghosts, and I feel like that was edited and shot really well. Um, but yeah, I can see what you're saying with the kind of splicing everything together um, with not a lot of continuity, uh, but I felt like there wasn't a lot of... Uh, lulls in this movie. I feel like there wasn't a lot of space in between things happening. I sort of preferred it that way because I just didn't want to sit and watch the watch this movie about four Ghostbusters just sitting around chatting and like talking. You know, I I didn't want to see that. I wanted to see them do stuff, and I'm glad that they took it in that direction. Another person who surprised me was Leslie Jones. Yes, she did. I, she was very funny. I thought that she was not going to be quite my humor. Because I've seen her in... I, I forget what else I've seen her in. I think... Was she in uh, Saturday Night Live? Yeah. I, she was not my like favorite cast member, but I I really actually enjoyed her in this movie. I think she definitely helped out the the squad. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I got a lot of like uh, big laughs out of her. I mean, there was still like that huge like like crickets moment that was from the trailer when she's like the power of pain compels you yeah um i hate yeah but i like i I knew that was coming but for the most part she was she was like she was really really good she was definitely a highlight of the movie i thought um you're gonna probably be surprised by this that actually made me laugh in the context of the movie i i i i I was sitting there i was like man i was like here it comes and I think the p- why it worked better is that when uh, when Melissa McCarthy's Abby, when she gets possessed, it was actually pretty fucking creepy. And I actually yeah. have to give Melissa McCarthy some credit for actually being able to like act differently and pull that off. Because when she just like goes and she takes like a like a pipe to the photon packs, and they're like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Like they like freak out. And I and I yeah, I I gotta give them credit for that scene that was actually one of the better scenes in the movie <laughs> oh, yeah the the, I, se- the scene was good i just i just hate that line i just <laughs> feel like it's so stupid <laughs> i feel like that was, that was one of the things that this movie did right was the suspense you kind of mentioned it earlier colin but like i feel like they kept it serious enough to where that you know, you knew behind every corner there wasn't going to be a joke or something like that. You knew that there, there was a little bit of suspense, and it added definitely added to the movie. And I appreciated that, especially when she was possessed by the ghost. Yeah. And it was like, there, okay. there was a scene with okay. the mannequin, too, that was pretty good. Uh, right. And, okay, that, and, so that, and that opening scene at the house was, I was, that was pretty spooky. Okay, sorry. Just, sorry, just jump spooky. in real quick. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, to jump in real quick. That scene, that was my black person moment. That scene with the mannequin where where it kicks through the door. <laughs> I was like, yeah. son of a bitch! I was like, yeah. I like how she just turns and runs away. She's like, yeah, oh. I know Leslie Jones. That's like when I think she like shines was in that moment because she was just like, was that there before? And then just, like that whole that that scene, I was laughing because it was it was like super creepy. And they actually yeah. did a pretty good job um, with with the music, like making it like some of the creepier scenes like really work. Yeah, and I and I gotta give this movie credit on one thing is so uh, look you know we I'm saying there shouldn't have been a Ghostbusters remake, but what they did with the ghost kind of the lighting effects they did it was almost like a live action like like a live action Scooby Doo movie almost like and I mean that in the in the most complimentary way not like the crappy Scooby Doo movies but the way they made the ghost look was actually pretty creepy like uh, especially the 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 final act where it's just a 
plethora of ghosts, I was really impressed with the different variations they had and how creepy they made some of them look. And I saw some 3D, so there were ghosts flying at me, and I was like, shit, okay. Like, yeah, the 3D was really good in this, actually. I, I wish, oh uh, man, I wish I would have saw that in 3D. Yeah, it, 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 it actually worked. They, they actually, it, it's a rare thing outside of animated movies these days, but they took advantage of the 3D, and they made stuff pop out at you. There's, this, there, there's that one scene towards the end where, like a Viking or like a, I think it's like a pilgrim or whatever throws an axe and like flew at me. I was like, shit! Like, <laughs> like, like but uh, so there is, there are really quite a few things I thought this movie got right. I thought, I, I thought Chris Hemsworth, I thought he was brilliant. Um, I'm not even going to lie. I thought he was probably, might have been my favorite part of the movie. I thought Leslie Jones was uh, really good. Uh, seeing Matt Walsh, I just always love seeing Matt Walsh. Um, as this as, as one the uh, one of the CIA agents, I just love that dude. Whenever he's in something, it just makes me go, "Oh my god!" It's the guy from The Hangover, the Doctor, and it's the guy from uh, Role Models. I I love Matt Walsh, and from yeah, the, he's hilarious. <laughs> and, and from the classic Into the Storm, of course, but um, but <laughs> Fire Tornado. Yeah, exactly. you can forget. But um, so that was good. Um, the big kind of kind of the carrying the driving force is Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy and I do agree that when it sw- it sh- felt like it shifted to a Melissa McCarthy movie uh by the way there's this re- there's this reasoning to split Aaron Kristen Wiig's character up from the other three that they they, they just don't even explain <laughs> like he gets separated and they're like <laughs> But did you notice? Yeah, like, they do some stuff together at the end. They just, yeah, they're kind of like, all right, she's separated, so she can have her, yeah. big, so she can have her big hero moment later. And I was like, wait, yeah. you really just negated the moment by just separating her for no goddamn reason. I um, and as much as I love this character, God, the Slimer cameo was so forced, so Holy bad. Yeah, oh my god, so and this, and the and like the Mrs. Slimer, God, uh-huh. yeah, it, so dumb. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't even like that. wasn't even like a funny throwback. It was just like, oh, that was, remember that horrible part of the other movie? Oh yeah, why is that in this movie right now? Like, well, like they could have just had Slimer steal the car, and then that was it. That was the end of it. But yeah. <laughs> like, oh man, yeah, that was bad. I forgot about that. And look, and I'm all about, and like I said, I wasn't one of those people who was like mad that they were doing a Ghostbuster remake because it was all women. I don't care if they would gotten, like, all male comics that I, that I like, too. I would have just been like, why are you remaking Ghostbusters? There's no reason to do this. And, exactly. And, yeah, the Slimer thing, what, having the Mrs. Slimer, it was like, all right, this is a girl power thing. It's a little on the nose now, <laughs> having a Mrs. Slimer. I, it just felt a little... And, and to kind of flip the, the, the sexism script... The thing that did actually bother me about this movie is every guy in this movie is either dumb or an asshole. There's not one guy, or creepy. There's not one guy in here that's halfway decent. Every guy is treat, is like treats them all like shit. And it really did feel, um, it felt very pandering in that way. Like, hey, we can't have one good guy in here because it's starring all women. And it's like, well, <laughs> like... Can't you have one guy that's like, oh, okay, cool. This is like, this is awesome. There's not one in this movie, and it, it really started to grind. Uh, to quote Peter Griff- Griffin, started to grind my gears as we kind of got. I I agree with you, but too, I feel like it was offset by the fact that they sort of recognized uh, themselves in a bit. Where kind of like you guys were saying, oh, this is or in in the movie, like uh, oh, this is my movie, this is my movie, kind of a deal. Uh, they kind of recognized it. I feel like if they didn't, if they tried to play it off and be like more serious about it than that, then I feel like I would have been a lot more bugged by them shoving the female lead role down your throat for sure. But I feel like they kind of acknowledge certain things that. I don't know. Made it, I guess, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit better. Yeah, I just, I, I, I don't know. Like for me, it was just kind of a glaring thing, and it did feel like, you know, you already have your four main actors are, are actresses are all are all in this movie, and I don't know. It, it just felt a, it, it felt a little more of, of that extra push than it needed. But um, yeah, so just kind of getting to. Uh, the final thoughts here. I went back and forth on my grade on this. I really, I, I got home, 
I, I, I got out and I met up with my friends for a drink after I got out of the movie and they were like, what did you think? And I really just kind of sat there and was like, I don't know what I thought, honestly. is uh, I did read one review where the person was like, oh, this is even better than the original. I'm like, you're out of your goddamn mind. This is not even close to the original. So, sorry, it's not. But it's not the dumpster fire that a lot of sexist assholes are hoping it was going to be. It, it's just, it's it's fine. That's really the kind of the, 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 the word that kept coming through my head. It's fine. It's not great. It's not horrendous. It's not Zoolander 2. God help us. Um, it's just, I mean, it, I was never, like, angry, like, where I wanted, because Zoolander 2, I wanted to leave. I, I legitimately wanted to peace out and be like, yep, I, I'll just come out and say it. I, I left. It This broke me. This, I never wanted to leave, but I was just kind of like, man, you guys have some good stuff here. Uh, I, I never, just, just if you tighten the script up and develop the villain more, this could have been a lot better than what it was. Um, uh, so, oh God, I wanna, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm torn because I'm torn between two grades. So I'm going to give this, uh, I'm going to give this a C plus. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Well, look, I look, look, I paid. <laughs> well, look, I paid thirteen fifty a season three D. It was not even close to worth thirteen fifty. <laughs> Sorry, it's not. So, I mean, C plus. If you got a good big screen TV, you know, and a good sound system, you got three D TV. Yeah, just watch it at home. It, it, it's yeah. So yeah, C plus for me. Uh, Colin, your final thoughts, sir. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Ghostbusters. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm afraid that I may have gotten kind of tricked by the pretty 3D and, like, the cool-looking ghosts and, like, into thinking this may have been a better movie than it was. Oh, uh-oh. Because, man, so much of this movie was just so bad. <laughs> like, like, there was... So many scenes where I was just like, God, this isn't funny. Uh, this is just such a disgrace to the original. What are they doing? Why is this happening? Why is this made? This is just this is just like big Hollywood greed trying to get money. <laughs> like, what am I watching? God damn it. Fuck these guys. Why did they make this fucking movie? Like, 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 it is. Like, like we're... <sighs> I feel like because the entire internet jumped down this movie's throat that, like, like I, I almost started feeling bad for it. So, like, I went into it, and I was just like, oh, man, I kind of feel bad for, like, like yeah. Kristen Wiig. Like, I really like Kristen Wiig. Like, and you know, if I was maybe her agent, I would have been like, yeah, you probably shouldn't do a Ghostbusters remake because that's kind of, like, one of the holy grails of, like, Bill Murray, like, you know, cinema history True. Like maybe don't remake that movie, um, and I I love the original. I used to watch the original like like all summer long. Like they used to replay that on like TNT like every yep. Saturday. Yeah, they would. And I would just be like, oh, I'd tune in and watch a little bit of Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd. You know, like you know they're not afraid of no ghosts. Like I wanna, <laughs> like I want to watch that. So I mean, I just hate that they remade it. Like I love that movie, and like I can be the old like. I'm not even that old, but like I'm like I'm gonna play the old guy card, being like they shouldn't have remade this. Like it was like kind of fun to watch at times. A lot of the like humor, like was really kind of like it's it was really lowbrow humor for a lot of it. Um, some of the highlights of the movie we talked about. Leslie Jones is really good. Um, I thought Kristen Wiig was totally underutilized. Uh, Melissa McCarthy was too much of a star. I don't like her. Uh, (laughs) Kate McKinnon was hit and miss, like we said. Um, And yeah, I mean, it is like, it's, it's not for me. (laughs) (laughs) So, I mean, I really do feel bad for it. I think this movie has gotten like, you know, enough people saying, go fuck yourself already. So I'm just going to just be a little bit kind and I'll give it a D minus. Damn! Wow. But yeah, I did not like. I didn't like this movie, and I'm never, I never, ever, ever want to see it again. Wow! Oh, shit! Yeah. Damn! Yeah, I didn't like it. 
<laughs> I I can tell. Holy shit, uh, man, I, Scott, your thoughts, man. Oof, wow. Um, this is I I was I was thinking the exact same thing you were. I but I think all three of us going into it had the feeling we. It has been shit on so much come leading up to this movie that it's like, okay, is it really going to be that bad? Like, is it, you start to feel sorry for it. You like the characters in it. And I was trying to figure if that was the reason that I liked it or if it was just because I genuinely had a good time. And I think I, my conclusion was that I genuinely had a good time. I tried to just not just be super analytical about this movie and just kind of take it for what it is. Um, Like I've said before, I have a thing about paying for movies that are really shitty and I didn't actually have to pay for this movie. So I think that (laughs) might have helped just a little bit, just a tiny skosh in the favor of this movie. Um, But I just, I I had a good time. There were definitely, the, the jokes were, more often than not cheesy and eye roll worthy, but there were actually some really funny jokes and I feel like the plot was thought out enough to kind of stand on its own. I'm glad they didn't really take too much from the older ones, except a few cameos and a few ghost cameos that they could have definitely left out of. Um, yeah. I really liked Kristen Wiig, and I really like Kate McKinnon. She kind of turned into a bit of a badass and, um, Chris Helmsworth, I think, was a little bit over the top, but I, he was kind of a nice, kind of uh, something different from from what was going on with the four these. I don't know. I I just as just as much as you guys, I feel like I thought about it a lot. Um, but I can't. When I came out of the movie, I enjoyed myself. I feel like they together a nice cast, and it was. Uh, obviously better way better than i thought but i genuinely had a good time in the movie and that's